transformation in three, three two, two, one. Feeling stuck and looking for inspiration and motivation? Then our series, Daily Dose of Inspiration, is just what you need. Tune in for a few minutes every Monday and Wednesday and prepare to transform your mindset, boost your productivity, and unlock your true potential. This series is part of our groundbreaking tips program, packed with years of research, success stories, and proven techniques. We've condensed all this valuable information into bite-sized, actionable content that will leave you wanting more. What sets us apart? Join us each week and experience how Daily Dose of Inspiration can change your mindset and how you perceive the world. Trust us, your personal development journey will never be the same again. Ready to discover information that can be a game changer in transforming your life? Let's get started. Have you ever felt like you don't belong in your job or field of work? Like you're just waiting for someone to figure out you're a fraud? If so, you're not alone. This feeling is called imposter syndrome and it's more common than you might think. Today, we're going to talk about how to overcome these feelings of self-doubt. We'll explore practical strategies to help you embrace your worth, especially in a professional setting. So, if you've ever questioned your abilities or felt like you don't deserve your success, this is for you. Let's talk about this and learn how to tackle imposter syndrome head on. First, let's understand what imposter syndrome really is. It's a persistent feeling of self-doubt despite evidence of your competence and achievements. Many successful people experience it from CEOs to actors to scientists. Now, let's look at some strategies to combat these feelings. One, recognize imposter syndrome for what it is. When you start to doubt yourself, pause and name the feeling. Say to yourself, this is imposter syndrome talking. This simple act can help you separate your thoughts from reality. Remember, just because you feel like an imposter doesn't mean you are one. Two, keep a record of your achievements. Start a brag file where you document your successes, big and small. Include positive feedbacks from colleagues, clients, or supervisors. When self-doubt creeps in, review this file to remind yourself of your capabilities. For example, if you completed a challenging project, write it down, write down what you did and how it helped your team or company. Three, reframe your thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, try to reframe it positively. Instead of, I got lucky, think, I worked hard for this opportunity. Rather than, I'm not qualified, say, I'm learning and growing in this role. This takes practice, but over time, it can significantly change your mindset. Four, Share your feelings with others. Talk to trusted friends, colleagues, or a mentor about your self-doubt. You might be surprised to find that many people have similar experiences. Sharing can help you feel less alone and gain perspective on your thoughts. For instance, you could join a professional group in your field and attend meetings or online forums. Five, focus on what you bring to the table. Instead of comparing yourself to others, concentrate on your unique skills and experiences. Everyone has something valuable to offer. Make a list of your strengths and how they benefit your work or your team. This can help you appreciate your own contributions more. Six, embrace learning opportunities. View challenges as chances to learn and grow, not as tests of your worth. If you make a mistake, focus on what you can learn from it rather than beating yourself up. Remember, even experts were once beginners. 
For example, if you're asked to give a presentation and you're nervous, see it as a chance to improve your public speaking skills. Seven, challenge your perfectionism. Imposter syndrome often goes hand in hand with perfectionism. Understand that no one is perfect and making mistakes is part of being human. Set realistic goals and celebrate when you achieve them. Instead of aiming for 100% all the time, try for 80 and see how it feels. Eight, seek feedback regularly. Don't wait for your annual review to get feedback on your performance. Ask for input from your colleagues and supervisors more frequently. This can help you gain a more accurate picture of your work and contributions. You might set up monthly check-ins with your manager to discuss your progress and areas for improvement. Nine, practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself, especially when you're feeling doubtful. Treat yourself with the same kindness you'd show a good friend. When you make a mistake, instead of harsh self-criticism, try saying, it's okay, I'm still learning. And finally, take action despite your doubts. Sometimes the best way to overcome imposter syndrome is to push through it. Even if you don't feel ready, take on new challenges and responsibilities. Each time you succeed, you'll build more confidence in your abilities. For instance, if you're hesitant to apply for a promotion, do it anyway. Remember, overcoming imposter syndrome is a process. It takes time and practice to change long-held beliefs about yourself. Be patient with yourself as you work through these 10 strategies. And know that by addressing your self-doubt, you're already taking a big step forward. We've covered a lot of ground on dealing with imposter syndrome. I hope these strategies will help you recognize your true worth and abilities. Remember, you're not alone in feeling this way, and you have the power to change your mindset. Do remember that our 30-day challenge starts on September 1, so watch that video on 30-day confidence challenge and get ready to join in the fun. Thanks for watching another episode of Daily Dose of Inspiration. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone who might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for, content, for more content on self-improvement, professional and personal growth. Leave a comment below sharing your experiences with imposter syndrome or any strategies that have worked for you. Thanks for watching and remember, you deserve to be where you are. Take care until next time.